This is CSULB's University Arts Calendar. Join us. Come to learn, to explore new things, or just to be entertained. We'd love to share the arts with you. I'm Andrea McGee, and this is a sample of some of the upcoming events happening in the month of March. In theater, California Rep presents The Clean House, a quietly touching comedy of true love and the devastating power of the perfect joke. The University Players presents The Last Days of Judas Iscariot, a brazenly irreverent farce set in purgatory examining the proper fate of unforgiven souls. Additionally, the University Players will present Eurydice, a wonderful new play based on the classic myth of Orpheus, a fable about love, loss, and the pleasures and pains of memory. At the University Art Museum from February through April, you will find Jessica Raff's exhibit, A Better Nectar, a focus on monocultural farming and bees. Consumed, an exhibit that explores the implications of mass consumption. Mocha 8 will showcase the first exhibition in the new permanent gallery. And featured this month, you will find a film screening of Plastic Paradise in conjunction with the exhibit, Consumed. There will also be a film screening of The Gleaners and I, and a panel discussion titled Umwelt, Human Eavesdropping into a Bee's World. In the School of Art, there will be several exhibits this month, photography, a metals and jewelry exhibit, as well as printmaking exhibits. There will also be specific group showcase featuring fiber, silk screening, weavings, and tapestries, and exhibits featuring sculpture and illustration. Featured at the Carpenter Center, there are a wide variety of performances this month. Cirque Mechanics, which brings modern storytelling technique and an industrialist aesthetic to this rowdy circus where mischief is on wheels. Batman and Halpin, their music is new. This is a duo who performs an engaging mixture of folk, roots, bluegrass, and jazz with irresistible lyrics. Nalehulu Akiwaku is an escape to the islands with a performance that melds storytelling, music and dance with the company's Hawaiian cultural heritage. David Sanborn, six-time Grammy winner, performs an evening of smooth jazz. While on a different evening, you will find the engaging HMS Pinafore, Gilbert and Sullivan's comic opera of a lowly sailor and his captain's beautiful daughter, and Julian Sands, who performs Harold Pinter's poems and prose, generously sprinkled with Mr. Sands' personal anecdotes and reflections of their work together. Last, there is Shakespeare Aloud, the history of Henry IV, part one. From the music department, you will find the Cole Conservatory Symphony Orchestra with Johannes Mueller Storch, conductor, as well as Jeff Jarvis, who will direct the Concert Jazz Orchestra and Studio Jazz Band. Mark Uranker and Althea Waits will be featured on piano for Orpheus Duo. Additionally, the Chamber Choir and University Choir will be directed by Jonathan Talbert. And last but not the least, the Department of Design will feature the Junior Class Works in Progress show. You will find a detailed listing of these and many more current and upcoming University Arts events simply by going to the website listed on your screen. Come join us and share the arts.